So um, this is um, this is a cassette that we developed together with you, Freddy, with the instruments to make the all on four technique. But in fact, uh, they should they are used also for all kinds of uh, of implant surgery. We can do single implants. We can do um, full cases. We can do all on fours, and out of this kit, if we want to do zygoma, all on four zygoma, which we call all on four hybrids, then we use these two instruments more. The reason is that uh, for zygoma, we need an instrument uh, to push away the soft tissue of the zygoma. So this is an instrument that is sharp and is uh, uh, reversed uh, curved here. So we can pull out the soft tissue and have a clear view and is long, obviously, because we need to be long. And this is a periosteal that uh, will just uh, push away um, the periosteum. So it is made, it's quite heavy, so it gives you security. It's the handle allows you to hold it uh, firmly, and it's a long shaft to reach the zygoma, and most important is sharp, because the most important thing when you open is to bring the periosteum out. Do not tear the periosteum. So this instrument is very, very useful. Actually, I also use this instrument for the all on four, uh, especially for the palate area. It's a very strong, very, very, the instrument, it's uh, nicely held. So in the, in the all on four kit, um, and as I said, all kind of implant kit, um, the first instrument is this one. This instrument is very, very useful. Um, this instrument uh, allows you to have a nice view of the, the place you operate. And uh, this is a cheek retractor, pushes away the cheeks and we can have different sizes. So we can push more and then by pushing this ring along the shaft, we close it until we close it to a small mouth. So this is uh, uh, one instrument, different sizes of mouth that we want. Then we have uh, um, uh, the, the bishop. This is a very, very uh, used uh, um, um, cheek retractor. Uh, very useful, not sharp, not to hurt. So we can push the cheek, you can also uh, pull down the tongue. This is a very, very useful uh, instrument and it's really essential, especially for single teeth or to help uh, together with this one on the, on the full cases. Then we have the periosteals, uh, which, is our, which are uh, normal instruments that we've been using for maybe um, decades. Um, the difference is that we like them to be sharp uh, because we want to to be able to push the periosteum out. This is a wider side and this is a, a smaller side for single teeth and for uh, bridges we use this one. Then we have the, the, uh, the periodontal uh, uh, probe, uh, which is in one side is actually periodontal probe and the other side is curved. The curve is specifically used for the all on four and transinus, so we can fit this on the window that we open on the sinus and then we can probe the inside of the anterior wall. So this is an instrument that is obviously very, very, very useful. And then we have the curettes. We do not need a lot of curettes. We have two curettes and four sizes. Uh, and with these two curettes you can do basically everything. As I said, we want to reduce the number of of instruments as much as possible. This is, of course, um, uh, an instrument that without it we cannot do surgery. <laughs> this is the scalpel and uh, I like it because it's heavy and it's nice to hold. Uh, if the instrument is too thin, it hurts your hand. Your hand should not close too much and should not be open too much. So we should have uh, this type of size is, is, uh, is good. Now on this cassette you notice that uh, uh, the, 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 the tweezer is a little bit long. The reason for that is that we can reach um, deep in the mouth 
uh, in the oral cavity without putting your hands inside the mouth. So with this you can reach anywhere you want. Um, so we do not need two of these. You, some people like it small, but to do the wisdom teeth or the zygomas you need it longer. So we just want longer for everything. This is a, a needle holder. Uh, we have different types of needle holder. I particularly like this one. It's easy to, to handle. It's uh, very, and it's long as well. So you can suture right there at the back or in the front. So try to use one instrument for different occasions. This is probably the instrument that only you freely has. This is a ronger. Uh, this is the instrument that really makes the difference uh, between you 3D and, uh, and, uh, and their competitors. This instrument is very, very accurate, very, very sharp. The quality of this instrument is extremely high. And this is an instrument that is very difficult to manufacture. Uh, this is one of the instruments that really describes the quality of your 3D. And of course, the scissor. Uh, I like uh, straight scissors. I do not like curved scissors. The reason is very easy. The straight scissor uh, lasts longer. The curved scissor normally lasts less. And it's very sharp. And it is long again, because if it's long, we can cut the suture at the, at the back of the mouth, or you can cut in the front. Basically, these are the, all the instruments I use to do all kinds of surgery in the mouth. Um, I do not need anything else than uh, what is here. Uh, with this I can do sinus lifts, I can do extractions, I can do implants, I can do zygomas, I can do all on fours, all here. These two instruments are extra for the zygoma technique and this is for the all on four, but again, it serves all purposes in uh, normal dentistry oral surgery.